Hey guys, if your CapCut application either keeps freezing or crashing on your Windows computer, then keep watching as in this video, I'm gonna provide you with a few quick and easy fixes. So the first thing we need to do is launch up the CapCut application. And once we're inside of the home screen here, you'll see a list of all of your projects. Now, what you want to do is just delete any projects from here that you're not currently working on, just by right-clicking on the project and then coming over to delete. Now, just of course, make sure to only delete projects that you're absolutely finished with. And then once we've deleted any projects that we're not using inside of here, you need to come over to create project. And inside of here, there's just a couple of settings that we need to change. So you'll first need to come over to modify in the right here, and then come over to this performance tab, and we want to turn on the proxy setting and you'll need to set the resolution here to 540p come back over to details and make sure your frame rate is set to 30 fps and then we can just hit save we're then going to close out of the CapCut application and this is going to bring back up the home screen and this time you need to come over to this settings cog in the top here click on version at the bottom and then just press this check for updates button to ensure we are running the latest version of CapCut as you can see I have a pending update inside of here so just go ahead and install any pending updates and then you'll need to come back over to settings in the top here click on the settings and then down at the bottom here, you'll see this cache size. Now, this is the amount of cache data that you currently have stored on your PC. So it's a good idea just to press this trash icon here to delete it, as this will just overall speed up the application. So just press OK to confirm. Click on Save, and then we can minimize the CapCut application. And then you need to come over to your computer's start bar, search for Task Manager, and then head over to the Task Manager window. Inside of this list of processes, we need to find the CapCut application, and we're just gonna select this drop down here, and you need to find this CapCut one at the top, and we're gonna right click on this, and select go to details. Then this will bring up the capcut.exe file inside of the details tab. And we're gonna to need to right click on this, come over to set priority, and you wanna change this to the value of high. And you can just confirm by pressing change priority. We're then gonna close out of this window. And the next thing you're gonna do is head over to your start menu and search for settings, and then just head over to the settings window. From the left hand side, select system, and then come inside of display and scroll all the way down to graphics at the bottom here. And now we need to add CapCut to this list of applications here. So all you need to do is come over to this browse button and you'll need to locate the CapCut application. Now, if you're not sure where the CapCut application is saved to, then there's a quick and easy way to find it. We're just gonna minimize out of here for a second and you need to find CapCut on your desktop. And we're just gonna right click on this icon and select open file location. Then you can copy all of this text at the top here and then right click and come over to copy. Then come back over to our settings window and select browse. Then all you need to do is come up to the URL bit at the top here and we're gonna paste everything we just copied and hit enter. Then you'll see the capcut.exe file which we just need to double click. And as you can see, CapCut has now been added to this list of applications and we're simply gonna come over to options here and make sure this is set to high performance and then press save. Now, a couple more things you can do is just come over to your start menu and we need to search for run, then select run here. In the search box, we need to type in the word temp and hit enter. Now, these are all of the temporary files that are saved on our computer, and it's safe to delete all of these as they take up a bunch of space. So you're just gonna press Control A on your keyboard to select everything, and then we can right click and select the trash icon to delete them. If you get this message pop up, we can just select do this for all current items and then hit try again. Now, if there's a couple of files left over that are unable to delete, that's absolutely fine. We can close out of here and then we're gonna head back over to the start menu, search for run again, and then come over to the run icon. This time you need to type in percentage sign temp percentage sign and hit enter. And once again, we're going to delete all of the contents inside of here just by pressing control A on our keyboard, right clicking and then selecting the trash icon to delete it. And once again, do this for all current items and hit try again. And if you're left with a couple of files, that's absolutely fine. Let's close out of here. And then the very last thing we're gonna do is head back over to the start menu, search for run, and then come over to the run icon. Inside of here, we just need to type in sysdm dot cpl and hit enter then come over to the advanced tab at the top and under performance you want to hit settings 
and then just check the box for custom and you need to select the options like you see on the screen here. So you want to deselect all of these options apart from animations in the taskbar, enable peak, show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. Everything else leave disabled and then press apply and OK to save these changes. And that's it guys, by following all of these steps that should have now fixed any CapCut crashing issues you are experiencing. If this video did help you then please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Until next time.